So finally, after putting it in the fridge a bit, we're gonna definitely get a snack. Snack! <laughs> yeah, you know, come here like that. Come again, mama. Like a guy you could treat me right Boy, oh, oh, oh. take a chance, will you let me ride? Way, oh, way, oh, oh. I could be the best thing in your life Hi guys, welcome back to Jafrika TV Where adventure meets love and love meets freedom and today we're up in the countryside picking some cocoa plants from the cocoa tree. And if you've grown up in Jamaica, you know that this was everywhere when I was younger. Like you just go pick the cocoa plant from the tree, open it and you would suck the seeds of the cocoa and throw it away. But I also grew up seeing my grandmother make the tea in the mortar. And I was so intrigued about that. I wanted to redo something like that. But this time, I wanted it to go even further into the processing. And you know, things like this, simple things that are found in Jamaica, in nature, we can actually pick it from the tree. Like from the actual tree. And add some processes into it and make something delicious through alchemy. So I've seen where there are variety of cacao found in Jamaica and I've seen where this is called the Criollo, the Criollo variety. So yeah. Look at all those beans that could turn into something great. And as you guys can probably see, I took a great big fall <laughs> from that banking and here are the scars from that great adventure. But I know it will be worth it, definitely be worth it. So here I am just breaking the cacao plant just to expose the seeds and those are the seeds. They're on this long string like thing and I'm just removing um, the cacao from the pods, placing them on my tree. Yo, let me tell you, Jamaica is known for so many things. It's known for its dance hall music, athletic proneness, infectious culture, and to a more tiny degree, it's cacao plants. I'm telling you, it's amazing how many things this little island has to offer. Yeah, Jamaica is also one of the 17 countries recognized as producers of fine or flavored cacao by the International Cacao Organization and only one of eight countries to do so exclusively. I did not know that. I realized guys that cacao or chocolate is such a versatile product. We use it in foods, we use it in drinks, we use it to make chocolate, we use it on our skin. There are so much things we can actually do with cacao. And it was first domesticated along the Yucatan Peninsula where it was regarded as food of the gods. Hmm, no wonder I'm so intrigued by chocolate. For most of its 4,000 year history, it was consumed as a bitter, invigorating beverage for its mood enhancing and aphrodisiac properties, rather than a sweet, edible treat. Chocolate was reserved for warriors, priests, and nobles at religious ceremonies, and the Mayans worship a god of cacao. 
interesting facts. All right, that's enough history. So we're back to breaking our cocoa plants, putting them on our tray, and that is step number one. As you can see, our cocoa beans, it has a white, like, slimy texture on the outside. And here we're just going to put it into a glass container to put an airtight lid on top in order for it to ferment. We're going to allow this to ferment for approximately seven days. Breaking the cacao seed, this is how it looks. It looks a little like the brain. It's purple and beautiful. So we're going to seal this glass container and allow to ferment. So the fermentation process adds flavor to the cacao, it adds flavor to the chocolate. And we're gonna walk you through how many days and what happens on each day. Alright, so this is day one of fermentation. As you can see, we're having some frothy things. This is day two. And the liquid has begun to settle at the bottom. That's a film from the cocoa beans. Day three to five, not much changes. So this is day five. And as you can see, it has changed a lot. It smells like tambourine balls and the color has changed. It has become brown and the, the, the most of the film from the cocoa bean has gone off. So I'm just Placing this on my container and putting it out in the sun. This is day one of sun drying. So over a period of four days. Hi everyone. This is where we're at today. From the fall to the fermenting. So the drying in the sun, this is what we have. These are cacao beans. We call them coco in Jamaica, but foreigners call it cacao. I like the way cacao sounds, so I'm gonna say our dried, fermented cacao beans. All right, so after we have our dried, fermented cacao beans, we're just simply going to put it in a pot to be parched, which is, you know, to dry it further. So we have a hot pot here. A skillet kind of thing. It kind of reminds me of a dochi. It's heavy. It um, conducts a lot of heat. So we're just going to go ahead. And we're just going to spread our cacao beans on the bottom. Like that. But this is very exciting for me. So very exciting. I've never done this before. Well, lies. I've done this once before, but I've never made chocolate. I made chocolate powder. And um, I'm very excited to see how this turns out. We're just going to let that parch, let it get hot. And um, when the outer cover, the cacao beans, gets really dark, and we're going to smell like a chocolatey fragrance from it. We're going to turn it off and then we're going to peel the skin from the cacao beans. It's going to be, you know, hard so we can peel it from it. So yeah! <laughs> Alright, so the parsley phase has begun. Um, the cacao beans are popping. I'm not sure why. If the heat is interacting with the shells or something but it has a very unique smell I can't really say what it smells like but it smells good <laughs> it has a very unique smell it smells like chocolate but something else as well so the beans the outer part of the bean the shells they're starting to harden and um, that's exactly what we want oh wow so we can be able to just peel the shell off like this and that's the cacao that's what the cocoa looks like. 
kind of hot, but you get the picture. Perfectly brown, nice. Yeah, that's what we want. One shot. Yo, I don't know who wouldn't be amazed from having like some cocoa plants, like some cocoa beads, to just having this. Like this is enough for me, like literally. Like even if the chocolate doesn't turn out the way that I picture, um, this is just amazing for me. Like this hits it for me, like literally. So when we started our chocolate process, we had a cocoa bean plant then when we cut it and went inside and cut the bean it was purple now it's dark like the color of dark chocolate so i'm really excited about this um this one the outer shell came out came off in the pot already so i'm just going to add it to my little extraction container and then i'm going to go ahead and just remove the one see already out Yo, this process is amazing, yo. I'm looking forward to the results. Like, yeah. I'm going to do a 70% dark chocolate, which means one pound of cacao beans to one cup of sugar. Alright, so here we're just kind of breaking up the chocolate beans. They call it chocolate nibs. So we're making chocolate nibs right here. Just break them up, break them up, break them up. Alright, so this is an easy do-it-yourself chocolate video. I remember that it's not only chocolate you can make from this, you know, like chocolate bars. You can actually make the chocolate powder. You can use it in a um in a cake you can use it to make a chocolate tea like i'm so interested in getting a mortar yo you know the first time mortars that you used to see like your grandparents like sit down and beat yeah i definitely definitely appreciate one of those for real so this is just our leaves in here i'm going to put one cup of sugar as i said before Probably put less, you know. i said i use white sugar but um not into the white sugar so um this will give it some more crunchy crunchy taste instead of a smoothie 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 chocolate this is a diy do it yourself home chocolate guys it's not going to taste like hershey's chocolate um but it's definitely going to taste good um and remember those chocolates have a lot of additives as well so this is just from the tree to the yard to you just processing it into chocolate
are red so it's gone down into like a more smoothy rough texture it's much finer than the nibs but i think this is a whole lot of chocolate guys like i don't know but yeah this is a lot of chocolate i only have two more so three more so, so this is only three bars but yeah we're going to put it back in we're going to let it go for approximately like 25 minutes just to let the oils and the natural flavors of the chocolate come out because now the oils are not out as yet but when it goes longer and smoother the oils will come out and it will get more chocolate like so here we go Yo, this is approximately like seven minutes or so and if you've realized the consistency has changed a lot like you start seeing the oils coming out let me get out a piece wow like oh my god guys this is true 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 alchemy like i don't know i'm amazed i'm blown away this is truly where love meets adventure and where adventure meets freedom because you know we have the ability to be free and create whatever we want. These ingredients just come out of nowhere, yo. We just say, yo, let's make some chocolate. And we just get the thing. And, you know, feel free to make mistakes and to do whatever. Because it's not a perfect world. And whatever we're doing in the kitchen is not perfect. But look, guys. I mean, literally, this is amazing. This is the moment of truth. This is definitely exciting. Oh my God. Look at that. Like seriously. Like, 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 yeah you. <laughs> oh my God, oh, we've got chocolate. We've got chocolate. I'm going to pour it in the mold. Ooh. to get something to smooth it over and then I'm going to put this in the fridge for about huh? I'm going to put this in the fridge for about 15 minutes Alrighty So now We're going to do a little twist to the chocolate game We're going to add a little mixture So this we're going to make an almond coconut chocolate bar yeah so i'm going to pour my chocolate in this container and this is going to be one big chocolate bar now this chocolate bar you don't really have to just break it apart and eat it you know when you're making a cake and you want like the chocolate topping or uh, or some cupcakes or stuff you want the chocolate topping you can just take this and grate it to make the um that kind of thing so i'm going to go ahead and sprinkle with my almond coconut and i put a little agave syrup in there because this is dark chocolate yo this is 70 percent dark chocolate this is really dark <laughs> Yeah, man, I love the way I love the way this looks. Yo, this could not have turned out any better. Yeah. I'm so proud of us. 
all right now this is the moment of truth we've all been waiting for yo yo daddy yo this is literally yo 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 i just made a whole chocolate bar yo yeah so i'm a little excited so. <laughs> i think this one needed to be frozen some more yeah We're aiming for 70% dark chocolate. This chocolate tastes good. Bitter. It's dark chocolate. But then you have the crunch of the sugar that we added. I think it gives it a nice balance. Mm -mm. Alright, so guys, this was a good chocolate video. I will make chocolate from the cacao bean to this beautiful chocolate. Um, we wanted a little snap thingy, but um, I think we should have made the chocolate stay in the fridge a little bit longer. It's melting. So if you guys decide to give it a try, you can just let it stay for like probably 20 minutes or so. So finally after putting it in the fridge a bit, we're gonna definitely get a snap! Snap! <laughs> yeah, you're gonna come here like that. Here we get Baba. Alright! More life, more love, more strength, more togetherness.